Hi! In this tutorial I'm going to show how to create slightly more complicated widgets. For that purpose I will develop the universal RSS reader. Uh, I will describe basics of incorporating and dealing with XML files in JavaScript. We'll focus on data flow application logic. Widget will load external data and display items in a list box. I will also show how to store and read data from phone memory. I assume that user have some experience with JavaScript programming and is familiar with our previous tutorials. To focus on the main goal of this tutorial, which is JavaScript programming, uh, I have prepared all the graphical stuff uh, beforehand. That includes application icon, CSS stylesheet and design. I will also provide tooltip comments to help you recognize what is going on and make this tutorial useful even without my voice commentary. So, let's start building our application now. This is the first part where we will prepare the project, folders and so on. As you can see we have all graphical stuff in, se in a separate folder. All of these things you can find in the resources to download so you don't have to worry about it. Here we have design open in Adobe Photoshop. The source of this is also included in a bunch of files to download. You can find four views or state of the widget here. First on the left is the input box, next one is the uh, item list, then the message box and item description which is the deepest nested state. Let's switch to the desktop and create a new widget project. We will also use common library which main goal is to provide as much hardware independence as possible. For example, it provides the wrappers for AJAX requests uh, and this is something we are gonna use in our application. To download the common library you need to sign in and choose appropriate link. We will save it on the desktop. On SMI site you will also find some additional information and documentations. All JS files are to be found in the JS folder, but we will only need some of them. Now, let's create a new widget project. Close welcome window, choose new from file menu and choose widget project. I'm going to give this project a name of RSS reader and define the size of the first widget state which is the input box. Application is prepared for Star and Omnia devices, so we choose them from the list of devices. Finally, we click Finish button. We are asked whether we want to switch perspective to widget one, and that's it. We've just created the simplest blank project. Now we shall fill our project with graphics by copying stylesheet and all the rest of the files from appropriate folders. First we're copying the main icon. We have to override the default one. Stylesheet file. and the rest of graphic files.
We'll also need free JS files from common library for Ajax communications. Now I'm going to create the empty JavaScript source file. The coding begins here. Let's start from HTML file. We can fill the title tag, but it's not necessary as it will not have any impact on the widget's behavior. The important task is to link the stylesheet and JavaScript. Index and HTML is the main and core file where we start our application. We have to prepare tags for each widget's view, which have been mentioned before. We need to add the input form, item list, full article, and the navigation controls. IDs and classes have been prepared before. After that, we can finally start to build the logic in JavaScript. Now we can launch the widget on emulator by clicking Run Menu Item on Device icon. Because the widget engine is based on Opera, the browser window is launched at the background. We have all the layers shown at once uh, within the area that we defined earlier.